It is really hard to remember all the all types of oxidation and their results. So here I have an amazing way to remember the most important four oxidations, four types of oxidations and here we go. So what we'll do is we'll consider two alkenes and we'll learn the product of oxidation by these four methods. The first method is the cold neutral or alkaline KMnO4. This is the first method and these are the two alkenes here the first one and the second one and we'll see their results here this this one this blue line will consider the first alkenes result and this red line will consider the second alkenes result i hope it is clear i have different colors for different alkenes so what happens is in the first case when we give cold neutral or alkaline KMnO4 it breaks only the pi bond I hope you know uh, which one is the which one is the pi bond in in double bond the one bond is the sigma bond and the other bonds which we add after that will be considered as the pi bond so here this one of this bond in C double bond C is a pi bond and in the second alkene as well there is a pi bond and there is a sigma bond so in first case, cold neutral or alkaline KMnO4 breaks only the pi bond of the alkene and adds one OH to each carbon. As you can see, when this one bond, one pi bond is break and when we can add each OH, we can add OH to each carbon, we get this result. It is very, very clear as you can see. And when we take another alkene, the second alkene, then we can also see that the pi bond breaks and we get an OH on each of the carbon. It is very simple to remember, right? This is the least oxidative power. As you can see from left hand side to right hand side, our oxidation power is increasing. All right. So let's move ahead to the second result, to the second power of oxidation in which we what in which we took O3 and then we put H2O with zinc that is water with zinc this type of oxidation is actually reductive ozonolysis it breaks the sigma bond besides the pi bond so what we can see is in this in the first case only the pi bond was breaked and was replaced by an OH on each carbon so in this case it adds one more set of OH groups when a carbon has two OH groups on it it becomes C double bond O after releasing a molecule of water as you can see that uh, it becomes C double bond O and C double bond O when one of the uh, sigma bond which was left on the carbon was removed so there will be two products of each alkene this is clear I think and another one is this for this the second alkene which is also clear now let us move ahead to the more increasing power of oxidation which is oxidative ozonolysis in which we do not give zinc uh, for like a reduction kind of thing so in oxidative ozonolysis it breaks one ch bond on the carbon in addition to the sigma and pi bond so it adds one more set of oh groups on the two carbons as you can see we are now in this uh, in the second result and when we break one more um, one CH bond we can clearly see that there is no CH bond on uh, the first result this one and but in the second result we can clearly see there is a CH bond so we will replace that by an OH group and we get this as a result and similarly in the next alkene that is in the second alkene we can clearly see that there is um, a CH bond absent over here in the first part but in the second part there are two um, H in which only one of the um, uh, CH bond was replaced with a OH. I hope it is clear. Now um, let us let us move ahead to the most oxidative power or to the most oxidation power, which is on to the most right hand side, which is hot alkaline KMnO4 or we can uh, we can say acidic K2Cr2O7. Both of them do uh, both of them results in the same. 
both of them results same actually so uh, what happens in the uh, hot alkaline kmno4 case is it breaks the second ch bond as well if available or of course and adds one more set of oh groups on the two carbons i hope it is also clear now uh, it is just you know uh, we knew that in the in the first alkene there were no uh, ch bond left so the result of uh, the the third oxidation and the fourth oxidation were exactly the same but in the second alkene we had one more ch bond on the second part of the result so what happened is uh, a, a oh bond was a ch bond was replaced with an oh and a molecule of water was removed such that uh, the second part which became co2 i hope it is clear and uh, according to me this is the most amazing way that you can uh, remember uh, like the most four most important oxidation four most important types of oxidation thank you so much and um, i hope you will share the video and uh, subscribe me thank you so much